So this is a spiral ramp, but it's set around a pyramid. So it's not circular, it's actually square. And to make that, it's super easy. Basically, you have to make triangles that are all the same size. You make four of those, and you put them together. So I'm gonna make a triangle that's eight inches wide. So I'll measure at eight inches, and I'll measure my center point. And then I'm gonna go eight inches up. And that's my triangle. So the size, you can make it as big or as small as you want. If you go too small, you can't fit your tracks in. So the bigger, the better. And I go eight inches because that's a decent size for the cardboard that I have. But if you have a lot of cardboard, you can go 16 inches or even 20 inches. Just as, as big as you can make it with the cardboard you have is pretty cool. So now I have four triangles and I'm going to just lay them out like this with the points all touching. And I'm gonna tape those seams. add tape to the last one here. And then that way I can kind of crease that down and fold all this together. To make a pyramid. And now I need a base because right now it can be kind of squished. So I'm gonna cut an eight by eight inch base that'll go in the bottom of this to hold it all together. So I'm cutting an eight inch square because my, my bottom, my triangle is eight inches. So now I can either glue that or I can tape that. And I'll just do some tape for now. And you can ignore these lines. This is a scrap piece of cardboard. These lines don't mean anything. Now that's my pyramid, and it's nice and rigid and secure. I want to add a little bit of tape on top. And now I want to add tracks all along the side. So the tracks are going to go across and have a slight slant downward. So I just cut a bunch of one inch wide strips of cardboard. And I'm going to start off at the top about here, and it's angled down. I'm gonna mark from this edge to this edge, and make a mark. And then I'm actually gonna cut this at an angle. So it's basically a 45 degree angle. So when I glue it, I'm not gonna glue it flat, I'm gonna glue it at an angle. So it makes sort of a triangle here or a, a little squared 90 degree angle here. And that way my marble can ride inside that and I have to have an extra edge to hold it in place. So if you go steeper, you're gonna have a faster marble run, but it won't be as, uh, as many tracks around it. And if you go shallow, like almost flat, it's gonna be a very slow marble run. And that actually sometimes is hard because sometimes the marbles can get stuck um, if it's not angled enough. So now I'm gonna take a piece I just cut and I'm gonna put it below this other piece. If you put this piece on top of the track, the marble's gonna get stuck possibly. So it's best to go below it so it can glide over that bump and keep going down. So I'm gonna place it there and put a mark on the edge again. And then again, I'm gonna cut that same angle and then glue it in place. And just make sure you have a slight tilt angled down so the marble can keep going down. And so just keep doing this all the way around. So you're gonna keep just kind of spinning it and adding track until you get to the very bottom. 